Hello everybody and welcome to my channel Attila Taro. First of all I would like to thank for all of you who have seen my previous videos and you watch them, you like them, that uh, you interacted with it. I'm truly grateful for it. And if you're new to my channel I'm uh, very glad that you found me. Uh, today we're going to take a look at what kind of future uh, Joe Biden, the President of the United States has and we're going to take a look at uh, its past, present and uh, future energies. If you have uh, seen my previous videos, uh, usually I am creating uh, readings uh, for the various signs. If you like my style, I definitely uh, invite you to um, check out my other videos that my, and, and it might be uh, able to help you to see uh, or help you to guide you uh, with uh, your life as well but right now I'm just you know um, shuffling the cards which normally I don't uh, do it uh, uh, while recording uh, simply because I, I just kind of want to make sure that people are not saying that oh my god you just picked the cards I'm shuffling and just waiting for the cards themselves to um, pop up and, um, and sometimes you know that takes a little while so uh, but I will definitely put some things into the uh, description where you can uh, skip the shuffling part but if you <laughs> want to watch it of course you are more than uh, welcome to follow the shuffling part uh -huh. Anyway, I hope that your days are going uh, great uh, and <clears throat> it's kind of hard to believe that we are in September and <clears throat> where did this uh, year go? <clears throat> If you're interested, I've already done a reading for um, Donald Trump as well. So if you're interested in the topic, and I've done one for the Canadian President, uh, Canadian Prime Minister, uh, Justin Trudeau as well. So if you're interested in this topic, there's definitely, I, I definitely have some content for you and you can um, see that on in my channel. And definitely you'll be able to connect through uh, from the end of this video to see those other ones. But right now we are focusing on Joe Biden. And just to let you know, I'm in Canada, so I'm definitely not a voter. I'm not uh, able to vote. I have no inclination of any of the US parties in any way. But let's get started. So in the center of the reading, we do have here the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles is all about uh, financial stability, stability, and trying to hold on to something uh, very strongly and being afraid of losing whatever you achieved. This is something that we worked very hard for. Uh, this is kind of like a long-term um, creation. And, 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 and it is definitely an indication that, you know, uh, Financially, he's definitely stable. He does have a lot of money. He worked hard for it. Uh, it can be even uh, the indication of his uh, role as the president that, you know, he had to kind of go through many, many hoops and hurdles until he was able to uh, get to uh, the chair. But what this card is indicating that he's trying to hold on to it very tightly. 
and it is also a card that signifies some fears as well so uh, maybe he doesn't feel that his position is very uh, stable uh, because because this is kind of like the feeling that uh, when you are afraid that you're gonna lose whatever you worked for uh, very hard and and you're kind of uh, afraid that you're gonna slip off of your fingers uh, and you know the danger of this card is really uh, that that when you are afraid of something you might actually attract that but let's see what are the other energies cards that are surrounding uh, his uh, spread so his reading starts with the judgment card the judgment card is uh, uh, first of all can be an indication that um, he's following his call he's following his destiny and and this is kind of like this uh, a major card that that indicates that probably uh, this was uh, being uh, in politics being uh, the president of the United States was in in his uh, faith in his uh, destiny and this is kind of like the card where uh, has this karmic feel to it that you're getting what you what you deserve what you um, worked hard for so I think that's definitely was in his faith to reach whatever position he got. Uh, he does have also the moon. The moon is all about the, the shadow. It can also be an indication of secrets, but this is also following the intuition and and being afraid of things. So I think he's definitely fearful of something. Uh, maybe like, you know, there's, there's certain kind of secrets uh, that um, why he's trying to hold on to his position because the moon is the shadow the moon is the fears the moon is all about something being uh, in secret and and whenever that comes up uh, it there's something that that somebody is hiding uh, now when we're kind of talking about hiding something it's very important very interesting thing that the four of pentacles can also a card that's uh, when somebody is withholding some kind of an information. Uh, so that's kind of the center of the... So there's some kind of a secret, some kind of an information that I think is not being revealed right now. Obviously, I don't know what kind of information it is. This is just a thorough reading, but there's definitely some kind of uh, 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 information or data that's being held back. Let me know what you think, what kind of an information... Uh, might be held back from us uh, this time but let's continue so the next we have here is the five of wands so the five of wands is the card of conflict and it is a card of being in training uh, and it is the card of uh, competition so maybe this is kind of like an indication of uh, conflict coming from various uh, backgrounds so so when this card comes up uh, these people on the card are wearing different type of clothes which is indicating that they have different backgrounds and and usually the conflict that is arising <clears throat> it is arising from the fact that they they, they are coming from uh, different uh, positions different background and <clears throat> you know when you look at people from a <clears throat> coming from a different background sorry it can be racial background it can be financial background it can be the people coming from different heritage and i think when you look at the us uh, being a, a multicultural uh, country and 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 having a lot of uh, kind of people in i think that's definitely coming out of the cards that, that there's a conflict of of races there's a conflict of of different kind of ethnicities uh, that are centering um uh, his spread and, and, and I think there's definitely, uh, in the U.S., there's definitely hard to find the balance between mm, the various uh, racial conflicts. But, but again, this is the card of competition as well. Maybe he had a lot of kind of uh, challenges to get through uh, to uh, be able to get to where he is right now. But let's see his current position. He does have the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is the card of passion. It is the card of... Uh, <clears throat> a new beginning when when something um, feels uh, gives us a lot of uh, enjoyment a lot of adventure this is definitely a card of adventure passion when we are following uh, 
uh, an idea when we are following our passion. So I think he's very passionate about his job. Uh, it is it is his calling. It is his true calling, and and I think he's he's fas- passionate about uh, being uh, the president of his country. But there's definitely something that he's trying to hold on to. The next we have here is the hierophant. So the hierophant is the card of our beliefs. It is the card of. Um, of an institution as well. It is a card of a traditional, very traditional institution. Uh, it can be also a card of community, like he's a community leader um, and also an educator. And it is also representing everything we learned, everything we know. Uh, so I think um, from overall, uh, I think it, it is a representation of, of, this, uh, of the institute that he's in, which is definitely traditional and there's this uh, challenge of, 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 of various communities um, uh, within within uh, the nation but let's see what's going to be the final outcome of this reading if you like this reading please like share and subscribe that's great to help helps me uh, to uh, let me know that you like uh, these kind of readings and definitely don't forget to check out my other readings. But let's continue. So you, we do have here the King of Wands. The King of Wands is actually a great card to have because the King of Wands is uh, the natural born leader. Uh, so uh, he is some, this is a, a card that uh, indicates somebody who's daring to try new things. This is the card that uh, shows us that he's able to um, able to line up people behind his vision vision it's a it's a card that's uh, very adventurous as well uh, this might be you know him like it's it's a it's a very uh, good indication uh, for him uh, because he is uh, practically the leader of one of the uh, largest uh, countries and the, and the strongest uh, countries in the world uh, so I think he definitely possesses the leadership skills that he needs. Uh, now the next we have here is the strength card. Uh, the strength is all about, uh, you know, being strong, being courageous and being uh, daring as well. So, so whenever this comes up, it's an indication that he is not afraid to make certain moves, that nobody else would, would do that. And uh, and he definitely uh, believes in himself. He's not lacking self confidence, which kind of goes hand in hand with the King of Wands energy, because the King of Wands is somebody who is very self assured. And we do have here the Ten of Pentacles in the last card. The Ten of Pentacles is all about uh, a legacy, uh, all about financial stability. And, and creating a long-term legacy. So I think he's definitely, I think one of want to create his name uh, in the American history. He's definitely want to create his legacy. Uh, and and um, this is a card of stability as well. So um, although he might be holding back some information, I don't think that he sh- should be afraid of his position, but there's definitely some secrets. Now, when we look at the bottom of the deck, the bottom of the deck is the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is the card of the wounded soldier. So I think he must be pretty exhausted. He's pretty um, tired, which is not a surprise uh, due to his age. Uh, but but I think overall, uh, this spread is not bad. I think the challenge is that there's definitely some kind of a secret that he is not revealing to us what those secrets are obviously i'm not i don't know it uh, but um, if you have any idea let me know in the comments and i hope that this reading uh, help like you like this reading and i'll, I'll be able to uh, welcome you to check out my other ones as well have a great day